You can't keep a man that does not want to be kept. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm Lydia Stanley and if you're not new, thank you so so much Butterfly for coming back to my video today. In today's video, we're going to be getting glam. I'm going to be doing my hair, my makeup, all chatting with you and talking to you about some questions you sent in to me. I'm basically just telling you how I would handle these problems or situations if I were the one going through them and giving you my advice girl talk style so if you like to see that video please keep on watching in case you end up enjoying it do not forget don't be forgetting give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave a comment with your butterfly let's get right into this video the sponsors of today's video are Eunice hair and they sent me this beautiful blonde wig i'm showing you what comes in the wig this is what the wig came in this box from Eunice hair it also came with a bag that has a hairband in it and eyelashes it also came with wig caps and this adjustable stuff that you use to adjust your wig if it was too tight and this is what the wig looks like it is so soft just straight out of the box i'm not going to be doing anything to this wig i'm not going to bleach it because I don't have time for that i don't even have the energy to and the lace matches my skin quite well so i'm just going to put this wig on my head first just to get a feel of how it fits me it came with three pins as well um, but i'm going to be cutting that out just so that it doesn't poke on the side because i really don't need it and yeah i'm putting the wig on my hair now just to get a feel of how it looks for the nature of this video and for some of the questions that were asked i'm just going to go ahead and just refer to you people that asked me the questions as butterfly so i'll say this butterfly says i think that that would be better for anonymity and because i usually like to call the names like i've done in the past but but i wouldn't be doing that in this video just for privacy of the question askers My hair has grown so long since the last time I put it in cornrows, like I'm going to just put this wig on my head, okay, again and see Yeah, it definitely feels better now that I've worn my wig cap Really love how this list is matching my skin Let me cover all of this with foundation, okay, and then I'll be right back I really don't want this thing to stain my braids though I knew it was going to. Hmm. Should I have used the cream foundation? A cream to powder foundation. Because this one will just stress me out. Stress me out. That blow dryer I used, I did a video review of it already on my channel. I'm trying to lay the edges with that got to be like you just saw. Since this is going to be a center part, I'm not really looking to make that um, those whole. See, this is the definition of beginner DIY wig install, okay? This frontal is not so long. You can see it stops right here, here. So from here to here is your pattern space. I'm applying wax stick on it just to make it lay, lay flatter. And I'm going to also do that here, just to give it that like, eh, I think I put too much, Jesus Christ. This first butterfly says, really want to be in a relationship but i'm so scared of getting hurt i'm 22 and the pressure from men is too much it scares me how do i know the genuine ones i really want um if you really want to be in a relationship then you wouldn't be pressured i say this because pressure and you wanting are two different things feeling pressured means you don't want to do it and then you're being forced this thing, are you getting hot already? And you're being forced. Um, but if you want to do it, then you won't feel pressured. Secondly, you're at that stage where there will be a lot. Trust me, 
even I went through that stage. Like, there will be a lot of guys. Hey, yeah, yeah. There will be a lot of guys on your case. Like, everybody and their daddy wants to date you. This is not for you to feel overwhelmed. This is not for you to feel like you have to please anybody. Because at the end of the day, if you don't want to have sex, don't have sex. If you don't want to date anyone, don't date anybody. When you're ready, your person will be there waiting for you. Don't feel like, oh, there's no, there will not be time for me. Let me just hold one now or two now so that in the future when I'm ready, I would have someone. Do you get? Try to take your time. And how you really know the one you want is not by letting sex get into the equation very quickly take sex out of the equation because once you start to have sex with anyone you inevitably be attached to that person there's really nothing like casual sex i know people will come for me and say nah they don't agree with that people can have casual sex and it won't mean anything trust me especially at that young age of 22 you fall in love with whoever you're casually trying to have sex with and that person might just want you for just sex and nothing more so take your time really know who is who for you if someone is not your standard they are not your standard period don't just say let me date this person and see how it goes let me just you know vibe with them and see where it leads don't let anybody casual you into that like ah okay i know you said you're not in a relation you, you don't want to be in a relationship but let's just let's just be hanging out now let's see if you like me they just want to capitalize and use you for idiots okay um, i don't know if i should spray a bit of holding spray here let me see if that will help i don't want the hair to become stiff before i filmed this video i watched a ton of youtube videos trying to learn what i need to show you guys because i really don't know anything when it comes to hair i think i wish i was as good as I was with makeup with hair. So my love, don't feel pressured. If there are a lot of guys wanting to date you at a go, try to look at them and see if some if if any one of them really has your features because it's possible that even the people that are interested in you are not really you're not interested in them. So don't just date just because and don't feel pressure. Nobody can pressure you to do anything. Don't let society tell you, ah, you're a 22 year old babe, you're fine, you should have a boyfriend. You should have somebody that, you know, takes care of you, blah, blah, blah. You know the Nigerian way. Don't ever feel pressured to ever be in that situation with anyone. Like, never, ever, ever, ever feel that way. to bring out just a little bit of hair that I used to do baby hairs I'll bring them out and I'll try to flat comb them forward even though I'm scared of that because I don't want to burn my hair but like look at how nice this is looking and I'm a beginner when it comes to wig install all this whiteness I'll clean them off they will go away and I'll cover these places with foundation that is my skin color but like I'm happy with how it's looking so far. I've laid my edges and I'm just going to go into this Vicabel brush. It's Vicabel NK19 and my Nuban Beauty Foundation. I just mixed it in with powder here to make it thicker. That's how I'm using to blend in this stuff. The next butterfly asks, is it okay for your boyfriend to ask you for money? We're using these two palettes today. This one from Julia's place and this one from Buddha Beauty. I have no issue with supporting my man, but the thing with you at that age or at a younger age is they might be taking advantage of you and taking you for idiot. So if you see someone that you guys are willing to, you know, build together, you know this person genuinely needs your help and you have it, you can help. But you have to be very smart about how you help because so many guys really just take girls for idiot that, that are willing to help and be supportive. If this person, you're not sure they are your own 100%, i.e. you are sharing them with like four other people, 
then don't even try to do any rubbish help like the person will be fine i saw one tweet said she used all her savings and she helped him she noticed another girl too was helping him at the end of that tweet yes there were like three of them oh my god there were like three of them helping the guy out like what rubbish i'm using this all stars pro moisturizer i really love it so much it's not a bad thing to be supportive but be smart about it okay like i would be supportive to my man if he needs my help i wouldn't hesitate to help but there's been times in the past that i've tried to help out and then some of them their ego just couldn't take it i've had someone insult me because i was trying to pay our bill after a date i was even being nice and trying to slip my card underneath the table to give it to him and he was just being an if you have a good man and you know he needs your help help him if not save your money there's no need you'll be fine last last okay i'll be using my hydrating face primer from omari code i really want a very glory summary look with this look so that's why i'm going with all this like glowy stuff you know it's going to give you i know we're getting into fall summer is pretty much done this is already september come to think of it this is the first video i've been making since i turned 27 my birthday was in august I didn't want to post about it on my social media like make a whole lot of noise about it because i really wanted a a quiet birthday this year and thank you to everyone who still wished me happy birthday when i posted i just remember the, that like that was such a very random thing to remember right now but we are going to do like summer and fall look intertwined but still soft glam still sexy baby girl this butterfly says feeling lost and lonely most times what can i do i'm hugging you first this is virtual hugs okay the thing i'll say you can do is try to work on why you feel lost separately and why lonely maybe because you might not be dating anyone or you might not have friends lost i feel lost most times when i don't know what the next step to take in my life is so i don't know if that's what it is for you um if you kind of settle those you now try to tackle them separately maybe try to make new friends and me as a socially awkward person that i am i have so many friends online so i don't have a lot of offline friends when you look online and you look into people's eyes on their profile their pictures you can tell the kind of or for me i can discern the kind of people they are so if they're the kind of people i like to be meet in real life be friends with in real life i just message them and keep up with them and then just try to engage yourself in activities i noticed also starting to work out and really get into my weight loss journey has helped me work on what's making you feel lost and work on what's making you feel lonely try to make new friends try to pick up new activities to do along the way for instance you like the outdoors or if you like to cook maybe or if you like just find out what you like to do basically take your mind off of how lost you're feeling or how lonely you're feeling and fill it up with something good that is still edifying your mind i'll just advise you to take baby steps if you're someone that's socially awkward and you don't like being around a lot of people that's fine you can do the meeting online but you have to do something you can't just um just stay there and keep feeling that way because the feeling will only get worse if you let it grow and if you nip it in the bud now and start to work on how you're feeling you'll start to feel better in no time but i wish you all the best okay i hope i really hope you find a way and you get to feel better soon i love you i'm using my early cosmetics cream contour palette since that lori harvey video i did i've been loving this for my contour it's just very neutral it doesn't have any reddish undertone to it so it's perfect for contouring and that's what i'm using to contour my face today another butterfly says would you still date a guy you had a d and c for and dated for a year let alone marry him i've made sure during my dating years that i never got pregnant for anyone and 
before I talk about or before I answer your questions, if you're dating someone that you're having regular sex with, do not be shy to go and protect yourself. If you need to get an IUD, get an IUD. If you need to get like the regular hormonal pills, get the hormonal pills. If you need to make sure that the guy always uses a condom, which is not very, um, I don't know how to explain it. Most girls in some situation, I've seen a study that say most girls are shy to ensure that they are partners use condoms which is understandable so try to protect yourself if you if you have a long-term exclusive sex partner and then you had an abortion for him or a dnc let's use dnc abortion is very strong you had a dnc for him and he probably wants to i maybe you i'm guessing you guys broke up yeah she said would you still date i don't know if you're still dating him or you guys broke up and you want to get back together but my advice would be like, what were the circumstances around you guys breaking up? What were the circumstances around you having the DC? Was he a total asshole when you told him you were pregnant and just insisted, go and get an abortion, go and get an abortion? Or was it a complication, like a health complication? Or did you by yourself decide you didn't want to carry a baby and he was, maybe you were in school and he was begging for the baby, but you couldn't carry the baby because of school and so many other things going on in your life i don't know but you have to weigh all of those options and not just oh you had an abortion for him if it's totally his fault like you wanted the baby but he was like nope he's not ready to claim responsibility he's not ready i'm using the nuban beauty powders by the way to set my eyes i first used the huda beauty one lightly and then i'm using the nuban beauty one now and i like to use the other nuban beauty one the darker one for the rest of my face you know why you guys broke up in the first place try to ensure that you do not go back to your vomit like if he was the one that treated you bad personally if he was the one that made me get it and i got out of that situation i wouldn't go back into it because that kind of person will make you get like four or five abortions probably even damage your womb and he probably may not even end up marrying you some cycles will even marry you and then still blame you for not being able to conceive after they've made you have so many DNCs like a mad person. So just weigh your options. I would say know the kind of person he is and if it's absolutely his fault, then don't get back with him because he's going to make you do more of it since he saw that you were able to do it once. But, you know, like I've explained, there's a lot of things that go into it. But personally, I wouldn't want to get back with that person. I'm using this Elsa's Pro Duo blush. I love it so much. It's in the shade 02. It has a lot of red in it and it's just a very cute like... See how... I, I didn't use this other red side. I just used this side. For my brows, I'm going in with this my brow. By this time, you should know what this is from J Lux Beauty. And I'm using my rose water from Gunu Effect. I went ahead and brought you guys in closer so you can see me better. But I'm just going to line underneath my brows and the top part. This beauty line by Didi Brow Pencil is so good. Go and buy it, tell them I sent you. And it's very affordable. Very proper with this. Just after putting that, I'm going to brush through my brow hairs just to pull that pencil up the pencil is very creamy so you can manipulate it however you want and this is just going to help my brows still maintain that like airy look hmm? see how easy that was very airy without being too dark this pencil is honestly the truth i wanted to leave this part in so you see how easy my brows are. i really go for like i'm not trying so hard to do my brows but they still look cute kind of brows nowadays you notice i didn't bring it to the front part of my brows that's why my brows are looking natural they're not looking boxy so if you're doing it don't bring the higher the top part here all the way here you can line this one all the way but don't bring the top part all the way in how i concealed my brow was to use a lighter concealer just here i use that just to highlight this part then I mixed in my concealer with my foundation right here and then I used that for the rest of the face so that it blends in with the rest of the brows. That's how you get a very natural highlighted brow. 
because get it we look, really want the highlight right on the brow bone right there's no need to bring the light concealer all the way in here this is how i've been doing my brows and i really enjoy it if you want me to do like an updated brow tutorial for you let me know this butterfly says today's my birthday happy birthday in areas because this is after you sent me this and i got calls posts and gifts from my friends and family but my boyfriend did none I chatted him up about it and he said he has been busy all through today on a video shoot. I didn't even get a post from him at all. How do you think I should react? He said he will call me later at night. Ah. That guy is not your boyfriend though. There's two probabilities. Either sharing you with someone or he doesn't care about you anymore. Because your boyfriend should be as excited about your birthday as you are yes he might be busy but he's no his name is not busy b there's no way he can be busy to the point where he cannot call you have a early and at least he might not even want to do a post on your so on his social media but like i feel anybody you're dating your partner should just try to make you feel a bit special on your day it's not rocket science, honestly. I'm using this brush from Younger Beauty, Shadow and Crease, the double-sided brush. It's not rocket science. First of all, I'll say you have every right to react however you reacted. Like, you should be upset at this person, angry. There's no way. There's, God, even if he's the president of the world, there's no way he's that busy. I'm using um, P. Louise Base number three to prime my eyes there's no way he's that busy my love there is no way he's either not interested in you or the relationship anymore and this was just his subtle way of telling you or he just doesn't care because even if he had honestly forgotten and you reminded him i'm using the huda beauty palette now even though you khaki haze is the name even though you had um reminded him and he acted like oh my god i'm so sorry babe i'll make it up to you i guess the way you tell somebody genuinely forgot and they really care about you and they are willing to make it a special day for you please oh my dear open your eyes this might be a sign to something even bigger he's not he's not into you like you think because this is a very clear sign how many times did i used to do birthday in one year even chris brown I used to call during the photo shoot. Not to talk of you. I don't know what you were photo shooting. This next butterfly wrote a lot. Like all this whole screen is her. So I don't even know if I'll be able to answer it. She basically tried to give like a background. I had an issue with school, but I'm back studying to get my degree. Now I'm 24 and my parents want me to get married. I've been dating this guy for five plus years and not once has he made me feel any less than I am in any aspect of my life. He supports me 100%, but he doesn't go to church. My parents said no. I'm so shattered. I don't know what to do. It's been an issue. Even when I try to speak to my mom, especially, she doesn't want to listen. He's a Christian. It's just that he decided not to go to church. I'm so confused because he has done nothing wrong because I know him and a little bit of background. We both schooled in the UK plus. I'm in Ireland and he's here as well. He just had to explain to my mom she doesn't want to listen he's the sweetest person my dear honestly speaking our nigerian family and our nigerian parents really carry church on their head just yesterday my mom noticed that my husband was wearing an earring in our invitation like our wedding invitation card and like the picture we put there she was like hey he's wearing earring is, is he not a christian i'm like mommy really is it the earring that will make him a less of a Christian? You know how myopic our Nigerian parents are? Like, for them, if you are not in a church, a church that is very... They've capitalized on that church and literally turned it into a business. Do you understand? If you are not in that kind of place, you are not saying, Daddy, Daddy, bless you, bless you, speaking in tongues all the time in their face, you are not a good Christian. No. So I totally understand where your mom is coming from and I totally get her he needs to know why he's not going to church because if he is just not wanting to be to church anymore is he, is he still praying do you see him praying because it's a different thing that your mom just wants him to be in a church like the regular nigerian household but is he a christian on his own does he pray does he hold god dear do you see him read his bible do you see him fellowship online sometimes like 
it has to be you trying to make sure that he's right for you because trust me if you're unequally yoked if you're with someone that pretends to be an actual christian and times come up in your marriage where you don't you need to pray you need to always pray with your partner you need to be able to pray that is why both of you being on the same page trust me is a lot easier and is a lot less of a stress for for either one of you so please don't just keep quiet for your mom because at the end of the day she would not keep she would not stop disturbing you she would not stop trying to make you see why you should leave this guy you just personally evaluate him yourself if you're sure this person is a good christian going to a square house or going to a a hall that is termed christian life power ministry of jerusalem is not what makes us christians in this nigeria how does he love god how does he hold god there how does he pray how does he care about the things of god if all those things and you guys say you're, you're living in ireland maybe there's no a church there that he would like to go to maybe you know all those things if you're sure he's a christian in his right then my dear proceed because trust me him not going to your denomination or not going to a certain type of church your mom wants him to go to it's very shallow and it's not that's not what your life should be based on you already said he treats you very well 110 percent blah 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 don't be don't lose him honestly that would be my advice to you girl i'm trying to go for like a soft smoky eye but i don't even know if i like the i'm using this palette from juvia's place that dark brown color this butterfly is asking should you tell your boyfriend slash husband about a previous abortion long ago um it's tricky because if he's your if he's going to be your husband you have to tell him but if he's just your boyfriend maybe not depending on how much you guys level of trust is your husband yes because if he, he deserves to know in case it inhibits you from you know getting pregnant in future he needs to understand what he's getting himself to into so be that person that lies to your husband to be but if it's just your boyfriend i don't think it really matters a lot of people don't deserve to know that part of you especially if it's something that you know you didn't have any choice and you had to do people will just judge you unnecessarily so boyfriend not necessary husband definitely or husband to be like if you guys if you know you're getting that serious tell him he needs to know someone said i'm still trying to figure my purpose and my love that's totally okay like don't be in a haste don't feel like you're being left behind trust me even i have not fully figured out what my purpose is and purpose is something that can keep unraveling even for the rest of your life i would just advise you to take one day at a time you know try to go in line with what god is telling you or if you're maybe in school right now try to focus on finishing school first at least like don't let that deter you because you've not gotten your purpose yet you're not able to focus on school i'm going into this shade from my juvia's place palette and i'm just using that to stamp on the liner like i did here so my love if you know that you have something you can do now do reading the room keep reading the signs if there's something your heart can't let go you keep thinking about this thing maybe helping children or doing something in your community like trying to be of help a certain way that might be pointing you to your purpose but for the meantime just try to figure out school first or try to figure out the basic stuff first and then trust me your your purpose and your vision will come to you when the time is right it's not something that you force or worry to happen it will happen when it's time for it to happen i'm taking that eyeshadow to underneath my eyes really tightly and not taking it a lot like i'm not bringing it all the way into my eyes. this butterfly is asking what causes foundation to drip alongside sweat yeah your foundation will still drip <laughs> it's not um what's it called 
it's not stuck to your face if you're sweating a whole lot it will still drip my trick to that is to use really good products where is that primer well, i've noticed that this primer from Hega and esther really helps me in that aspect i put this on my face let it dry mix this in with my foundation so it's like a holding agent for my foundation so when i'm sweating the sweat comes up and sits on my face you cannot stop sweating let that be something you understand know that and no peace you can't stop your face from sweating what you can do is to use good products that won't disintegrate i think that's why your foundation is dripping with your sweat so mix this into any foundation it acts like a primer foundation if that makes sense and then it holds onto your foundation set properly and then you're good to go is the products you're using or maybe you're not using them properly when you do all these steps your sweat is supposed to properly set makeup it's supposed to allow your sweat just come out and sit on your face without um dripping you know your sweat will drip but your makeup is still intact so in that moment you carry your tiny fan blow yourself when the when the sweat dries you can do your touch-ups or if like you're like me that knows how to do makeup properly your makeup will still be intact once your sweat dries i don't even go to events with powders anymore i just make sure that when i'm sweating i don't try to touch because once you carry like a wipe or something to try to dot your face you stand a chance of dislodging your makeup and it won't stay it won't stay intact anymore that's my advice get better products and it will help that for you i'm using this lash from younger beauties um and lash and another butterfly asks can a guy be kept if you need to ask that nope he can't you can't say you're keeping your man he will still do the bullshit he wants to do behind your back even while pretending to you in your front you can't keep a man that does not want to be kept i guess that if if he's acting like he belongs to the streets my dear let him go because that kind of person will just end up giving you headache and stressing you out you know stressing your life out um i would advise you to not think that he can be kept because i don't think guys can be kept guys every even girls too anybody that doesn't want to be kept will not be kept and them wanting to be kept is them keeping themselves if that makes sense so you don't have to do anything if you have to constantly worry about your spouse you're probably not in the right um situation or relationship if that makes sense she says what makes eyeshadow break or crack after a while it's probably because you didn't prime your eyes properly if you prime your eyes properly it will not crack and why it's cracking mostly is because of the oil the oil on your eye has come through and the eyeshadow is not cohesive it's no longer holding together it's just powder at the end of the day so if sweat and oil can break it then it won't stay together prime properly i really love the p louise primers i'll swear by them any day but if you can't get them use the good concealers decal cosmetics concealer is very good that's a good nigerian brand i can think of use that as a base on your eye first allow it to dry before you go into your eyeshadow and i don't think your eyeshadow will crack or break another butterfly asked i met this guy early this year we became close and i love him but he has a girlfriend how do i get past this get past what are you a goalkeeper where are you getting past please allow him to go you can't get past it if you're okay with being his side piece or maybe you guys are just having sex or having whatever then fine if not you cannot get past it if he's telling you he will leave her for you that's a that's a lie of the devil he's not going to leave her for you for any whatever reason tell him to go if he's ready to leave her and he leaves her he can come back and ask you out but you can't get past it you just you're just setting yourself up for breakfast they will serve you breakfast in the afternoon you'll just be heartbroken and you will not even know how to get past it that time because you already invested yourself in too much earlier this year is already a long time sir, but i wish you the best i hope you didn't continue i hope you don't continue with it because it's going to stress you out i'm using highlighter from um tease cosmetics so glam i love this since i did a sponsored post for these people i've not dropped this highlighter you can use it little you can use it big look at how little i use it and it looks like my skin is properly oily so um not oily but like properly um illuminated is the word it doesn't sit on the skin it melts into it look how beautiful is that a butterfly says i can't remember the last time a guy asked for my number i know i'm pretty but i'm quite small for my age and i guess that's why i feel really bad but anytime i'm around my friends 
guys are all around them my love don't worry your perfect guy is coming that person that will make you feel like the queen that you are your small stature shouldn't make you feel insecure or feel like you need someone you need guys to be around you all the time when is the right time the person that is meant for you will come and he doesn't need like i'm trying to explain this to you in the sense that just work on yourself work on your self-confidence work on your happiness tell yourself that no matter what size you are it doesn't stop you from being the amazing woman that you are it doesn't stop you from being how incredibly rare you are because there's only one of you in this world don't be thinking that you need validation from people asking you out if you've already told me that you're pretty you already said that so you know you're a fine girl you know when the time is right the right person for you will come if you're trying to force anything with any random person it might just end up in unnecessary heartache and pain that you don't need just focus this time on getting to be the best version of yourself like improve your mind heal yourself just be ready for your king so that when he comes you just slide from there and trust me he will make you feel like the queen that you are that's how you know that he's the one for you you're not everybody's piece of me so maybe your friends are being asked out by a lot of guys that's their concern you don't see them pricing gucci in the market your own will come and when your own comes you know that he's meant for you and you feel so fulfilled till that time enjoy being a spec that you are you don't need any guy to feel validated any guy asking you out to feel validated focus on harnessing your most powerful feminine energy focus on growing yourself so that when that time comes and you meet this guy you know you guys just take it from there and you're good okay my love okay how do you get over a heartbreak it's affecting me all around how i've gotten over a heartbreak in the past is out of sight out of mind i cancel this person block them on everywhere blockable just so that i can have my peace of mind trust me if they are constantly in your view it will be difficult to get rid of them from your mind block them don't stalk them with your fake page don't stalk them with your real page don't care about what they are doing they could be hanging on ladder upside down dying and then try to fill your mind where you had them before try to fill it with other things i'm not saying that theory of getting over someone you get under another person don't get under anybody because it will just end up being a rebound for you most times it will end up in heartache most times you don't even like the person you're sleeping with so don't get under anybody stay away from the person you're trying to get over and fill your mind with other things like trust me there were times i was broken up with and it felt like i was going to die literally it felt like nobody i will not be desirable again nobody will want me again i will not find love again i am done like it felt that way i'll be depressed for months on end i'll gain weight because of overeating but it doesn't end up leading to anywhere and looking back now it's like i should have just given myself i should have been more gentle on myself i should have given myself time to heal so i'm telling you the more time passes the more you heal from this person keep reminding yourself why you guys broke up if the person broke up with you out of the blues then it's their loss they should move on with their life don't let them try what you won't allow them to do is try to come into your life and go because that's something that really happens a guy will break up with you but he still wants to keep having sex with you while dating someone new i'm not going i'm not about to be your comeback i'm not about to be someone that you just come to when you just feel a certain way and then you're gone if i can't be all around for you then get away i'll save myself for someone i can be all around for and try not to listen to sad songs <laughs> Listening to sad songs really make you just be very sad, a lot more sad than you should be. So stay away from all those very sad songs. You know the ones I'm talking about, heartbreak songs. guys this combo is so cute what i'm setting my face with my nuban beauty silly setting spray i like to do setting spray before i go in to do my lower mascara so someone asks what's your advice on your boyfriend that doesn't like pulling out and which contraceptive method is the best in this situation 
I'll not say, I'll not lie and say I've not been in your situation because I have, and I totally understand. Um, if he really cares about you, he needs to understand that pulling out would help. Ah, this thing, I can tie somebody's ear. Pulling out will help you, will, will be best for your health. Wow. I tried though, you, you people, like, what do you think? I did this hair well or not? My advice to you would be to try to talk to him and if he, didn't under, if he doesn't understand, the only contraception I've tried and I still am using is IUDs and these ones won't protect you from STDs. So you need to be sure that this boyfriend that you have is having sex with only you. Because if he's having sex with several women and he's coming back to you, you stand a chance of having a disease that can possibly kill you. So make sure that he's having sex with just you. Make sure you guys are exclusive first of all. Then you can get an IUD. Like it or not, their mentality is, oh, let's see if you're fatal, some of them. Let's see if you're fatal, let's see if you're taken. Let's see if you get pregnant, you know, then we can take you from there. Meanwhile, I cannot be doing probability and risk taking with my womb for you. Do you understand? At the end of the day, it's me that will carry that baby for nine months. So my best way is to go with a contraceptive that won't be visible. So maybe you're living with this person. I won't advise you to get pills because he might see the tablet. I also won't advise you to get the one that you put in the arm just right here. They usually put it right here. He can see that too because it will bulge out on your skin. You can get an IUD. Go to a nurse and have an IUD put in. While I'm talking, I'm going to take this. This is the same foundation brush I used. And I'm just going to, um, I'm not adding in any product. I'm just going to take this and just go on that line. This is how you blend out this. You see how here is there's a line here because of the tying, the laying we're laying. So just going with your um, foundation. Ah, oh, this hair is giving me joy. What? Please. Is that, Beyonce, is that you? The nurse will tell you all of this, let me not go into detail, but it's basically the most undetectable method you can use. And how it works is it doesn't let the sperm pass into your um, uterus. It doesn't let you let the sperm pass in to go and fertilize your eggs. So, and get the one that is copper. Don't get the one that is hormonal. Hormonal can make you add weight. If you're like me that adds weight easily, you don't want anything releasing more weight gain um, hormones into your body like oestrogen so that's why i'll advise you use an iud get an iud and it's not costly in nigeria it's quite affordable so jesus this hair is fine ha! what jesus this hair is so fine kimmy was this the person you saw on the screen when you clicked into this video to, the, to watch was it? Oh my Jesus. Ah no, don't tell me anything. This is my best install so far. Hey! I, I finished work. Shit. I'm so excited. What? From this point on, just regard me as Beyonce Lydia. That's all. And that's all I want to hear you call me. Beyonce Shit! You heard Esther. <laughs> My, you better comment it. I know all of you that watch till this point. Comment Leonce. It's an inside joke for this video. Comment it. Minus all the other comments you want to leave. I'm going to go with my um, concealer just a little bit, just to make my part lighter. I don't want a lot. Just. Hey, where's my husband? Let him come and take me out. We are going. Where are we going to? I don't know, but we are going out. Another butterfly asks, she says, um, what do you think about early marriage? And she wrote age 22. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with it. What I think is wrong is you've not met your love, your infinity love, your soulmate, and you're marrying because your mother said you should marry, or your father said you should marry. Or this person is providing for you and your family and you just want to marry them you end up being sad for the rest of your life because 22 years like it or not is still a very young age to really know what you want as a person both physically both sexually both mentally both spiritually both all around from your partner 
if this is taken from you at a very young age, you end up having a very unfulfilled life. I don't think it's wrong if, you, if, you, if you're sure beyond every reasonable doubt that you've met the love of your life. You're not just marrying based on any other thing. You're not stigmatized. You're not blinded by money. You're not blinded by how well you guys do stuff. You're not blinded by what he gives you. You're, you've judged all the other things wholly. Ah, no, I, can't, I should stop looking at this viewfinder so I can advise people. My beauty is distracting me. I, it's, it's distracting me. <laughs> oh, God. So, my loves, that brings us to the end of this video. I would have loved to keep going on and on answering these questions, but they are a lot. Let me know if you want a part two to this video and I'll definitely record it. Let me also know what you think about this hair. I think you should tr try it out. I definitely think you should try it out. Uni's hair is bomb. This hair feels so soft. Like there is no single product. I even brought I even brought my conditioner to think I was going to use it to have to make the curls be defined. I didn't use any of that. The hair is so soft. It was so easy to lay. You saw how the lace matched my skin. I didn't think to bleach or do anything to this lace and look at this install. Like Excuse me, this is the epitome of a beginner wig. You don't have to be a pro to use this wig. I have discount code links in the description, okay? So click that link to let you need her know that you're from me and it will also help you get discounts on this wig in case you want to try it out or any other Eunice wig you might want to try out. Um, thank you so much for watching up until this point. Leave me comments, especially in case you, you know, want to build on anything I've said about the questions I answer. In case you want to advise the viewers more, the people that sent in the questions, leave them down below. I'm sure they'll read it. I really would want my comment section to be a very safe community for butterflies to like interact with themselves, give each other advice, uplift each other. It's a safe space down there. So don't be afraid to come out of your shell and leave a comment, okay? I'm going to see all your amazing, amazing butterflies in my next video. Thank you for hanging out with me this long. I love you all so, so, so much. <laughs>